students. Today we're going to be looking at the new comprehensive counseling platform that Bishop Amat has um, subscribed to for your benefit. This particular system is called Family Connection through a company called Naviance. Um, every single one of our students this year has access to this program and today we're going to do a very brief introduction to show you not only how to access it but also how to um, get the most out of some of the services that it offers. Uh, the first thing that you would need to do in order to access your family connection is to uh, type in the URL connection.naviance.com slash B-A-H-S. When you do so, it'll take you to a login page with the Ahmad A. That way you know that you're at the right school's family connection. At this point, every student has been given a username and a password so that they can access their own personal family connection and there are some very basic instructions as to how you would do this. Uh, first, um, after having found the, the login, you would need to enter your username. Every student's username right now currently is their student ID. Okay, so if your student ID uh, is 16999, if you're a senior, then your username is 16999. Every student's password is also familiar to them. It's going to begin with the letters BA, as in Bishop Amat. And those two, under, um, those two letters are going to be followed by your STS password. Whatever um, password you're currently using to get into the student portal, uh, you're going to use that same number after the letters BA. So for example, if my ID, like I mentioned before, was 16999, and my student portal password was 12345, then I would sign in using the following credentials. My username would be 16999, and my password would be BA12345. Once you log in, make sure that the name at the top of the screen um, is your name, uh, because when we went ahead and exported all of the student names into the system, some of you guys uh, had your names get mixed up. And so we want to make sure that your ID is linked to your account. If your name is not properly displayed at the top, then you would need to come see, see me, Mr. Escobar, in the faculty house and I can help you fix that problem. So let's look at, at how we can um, log in. There's my student ID and I put in my password and we're in. Okay, so you'll notice up here at the top it says that I'm logged in as Larry Lancer. That's my name. It's a nice name, don't you think? If your name is not Larry Lancer, or if it said some other name that wasn't my name, then I would want to make sure that I come down to the counseling offices in the faculty house to get that straightened out. I can help students with that. Just to familiarize yourself with this basic home screen, there's three main tabs on Family Connection. The first one is Colleges, then we have Careers, and About Me. Additionally, on the left-hand side of the page, we have a series of links which can be helpful for you, both as you progress through high school and especially senior year when you start applying to different colleges. You'll notice that if you want to apply to the Cal States, you can just click on this link right here, and it'll take you right to the page where you're going to apply to um, a CSU or a Cal State University. We also have links for FAFSA and financial aid information, all sorts of useful stuff, um, including the Bishop Amat High School Counseling webpage, which is also here with more information. Continuing on, um, so some of the seniors have already accessed this and they have filled out, some of you guys have already filled out your senior brag sheet. Under the About Me tab, you'll notice that there's a couple of surveys to take. And this would only be present for seniors. You have the senior brag sheet and the graduation survey. The senior brag sheet is a great tool because it allows your counselor to obtain important information about you so that they can help you to the fullest extent as you apply for college. 
Some of the information um, includes what you think that you might be doing in the next 10 years, your future plans, what sort of strengths that you have, which gives us an idea about your personality. If you've gone through any particular hardships or circumstances, it gives you the opportunity to, to explain. If you had to, say, um, move a lot during high school or if there was some family problems or any medical issues, uh, all of that kind of stuff factors into um, your, your recommendation. The freshmen, who have also accessed Family Connection one time, took the Strengths Explorer Index. The Strengths Explorer Index gives students uh, a better understanding as to the type of person that they are and the type of learning that they are. You can only do this one thing, you can only do this uh, particular quiz one more time, um, I'm sorry, one time total, and they make sure that you know that as it goes along. It says, you can't do it more than once, do you understand? So I'm going to continue and it's going to start to ask me some questions. I enjoy being in front of a group. I'm always in front of a group. So almost always. Next question. I think about being the best. Mm. I think about doing well, but about being the best, I'm going to put sometimes for that one. I love to win arguments. I don't really enjoy being in arguments at all. So I'm going to put almost never. Next question. Friends tell me about their problems. Almost always. And so you would continue to take this quiz, and the blue bar right here tells you about your progress. Once you get to the end, it's going to give you a, basically like a report, a readout, where you can learn more about um, what you selected and what type of person you are. All of this kind of builds towards understanding what sort of careers you should be looking for. As you go along through high school, we're going to be have we're going to have you guys access different things within this system, but for now I'm just giving you a quick overview. Under the career tab, there's a lot of really useful information that you can use, especially if you're a sophomore or a junior. This particular second section right here, what are my interests? It provides more um, quizzes and uh, inventories to figure out what sort of careers that you would be interested in. For instance, under the Strengths Explorer, if I indicated that I did not enjoy at all standing up in front of groups of people, then um, I probably shouldn't be looking into teaching right, or counseling, or doing something where I'm constantly going to be having to present things or um, lead a group. The cluster finder is similar to the strengths inventory, but it results in something different. Instead of telling you more about your personality, it matches you up with different careers and different career clusters that you might want to look into more. You could start this, uh, I've already done it, but if you want to start over on this one, you can. You can do it more than once. Once you finish, you're going to get a bunch of results. And it's going to show you the different like careers and where they match up. I got really low scores for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, which means that those things aren't necessarily my favorite thing to do. But on the top here, you can see that I scored high on human services, hospitality and tourism, education and training, and arts, audio, video, technology, and communications. These are the things that uh, I enjoy based on the answers that I provided in the cluster finder. So this is a good, a good task for sophomores and juniors to do to get a better idea in, t in terms of the types of careers that you should be looking into. Down below, this Road Trip Nation interview archive this is a great, great tool. If you go to explore more down here, the, the makers of this website went on a series of road trips and interviewed professionals in their, in their respective fields, leaders in their fields. And all of these interviews give a really cool uh, understanding as to what their jobs are like, the types of things that they're interested in, and it gives students a fresh 
uh, perspective on what it might be like if they were to pursue certain careers. Some of them you may not have even heard of before. Like for instance, under this recommended leaders, we have a guy named Bill Bass, who's a forensic anthropologist. Well, I've heard of a forensic scientist, someone that works in criminology and basically studies, um, you know, clues to crimes and and blood in crimes and different things, right? Chemistry, uh, chemistry related. But this guy's a forensic anthropologist. So I would click on him because this is interesting to me. And I want to find out uh, what it is that this guy does. One of the quotes from his interview, it's, he said, success is not just the amount of money you make. It's more intellectual. I mean, I'm happy. Happy. And I'm making enough to eat, but not a lot. So if one of your chief goals in terms of um, choosing a career was to earn a lot of money, uh, you may not be interested in being a forensic anthropologist. But if your goal is happiness and you're interested in the types of things that he's going to talk about uh, in these interviews, then, um, then perhaps this is something worth pursuing. I definitely recommend perusing these Road Trip Nation interviews because they're, they're fascinating. They're really interesting and it gives you a really clear understanding in terms of what people do with their jobs. Under the College tab, this tab is probably uh, most useful to seniors and juniors. The College tab allows people to do searches for colleges. It gives them information about deadlines and how to access applications. Additionally, um, a powerful tool I feel is matching up colleges that are offering the major that you're interested in studying. The way that you would do something like that is through the college lookup function under college research. So I'm going to click on college lookup. I just made a mistake. It's not college lookup, it's college search. So I click on college search and it's going to give me a bunch of different options. Right now I have matched to 5,000 universities across the United States and Canada, which is because that's how many are in this database. As I began to select things on this list, it's going to narrow it down. So I'm looking for a four-year university, and I'm also looking for a private university, and I'm looking for a co-ed university. Um, I personally don't care if it's in a large city, a small city, a large town, a small town, or rural, so I'm going to leave that one blank. I also don't care if it has a particular religious affiliation, um, so I'm going to move on from there to next. Uh, I'm willing to go uh, to school out of state, so I'm not going to select any of these. I'm going to leave it all blank because at this point I'm looking for a particular major. Do I want a small school, less than 2,000? Do I want a big school? Do I want to click a couple of these to open up more choices? Right? I'm going to leave them blank because I want to show you guys what to do with majors. But if you were looking for a particular environment, say you wanted to go to school in New York and you wanted it to be a private school and you wanted it to be small, then you can easily filter out uh, a list that gives you six or seven schools. Let's go ahead and say that I want to attend a small school, a really small school, so less than 2,000. To give you an idea, Vishwamat has 1,400 students currently. And so the, the university that I'm looking for would have a similar amount of students to Amat. Next. Mm, percent accepted. This basically allows you to choose whether or not it's easy or difficult to get into the school. I'm going to pass through that one. And I'm going to pass through sports because I'm not interested in that right now. This is where I can start to choose a major. Let's say I definitely wanted to be an engineer. Um, and let's say I wanted to be a very specific engineer. I'm going to go ahead and type a major in here, biomedical, because I'm looking for biomedical engineering. I'm going to click go, and it gives me a bunch of different options. So we have bioengineering and biomedical engineering, biomedical sciences. Well, I wanted the engineering one, so I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to add selected to my major list. So if you remember, we're basically now looking for a private school that has a really small amount of students anywhere in the nation that offers biomedical engineering. Show matches. 
hey, there are actually some schools that fit our particular search query. Alfred University in New York, Caltech in Pasadena, Davenport University in Michigan, DeVry University in Washington, Dort College, Mount Ida College, St. Thomas Aquinas College, Trine University, University of Westminster in England, and Walla Walla University in Washington. Well, Walla Walla sounds like a really fun college name, so I'm going to click on that to, to find out more information. It tells me that there is a religious affiliation to this particular school, that it is private, and that the enrollment is about 1,700 kids. If I wanted to go to the school website from here, I could, using the visit website. If I wanted to add it to a list of colleges that I'm thinking about on Naviance, I could do that too. The last thing that, uh, one of the last things that I wanted to uh, basically make you guys check out is um, on the home page. Anytime I want to return to the home page, I click home. On the left hand side of the home page, there's an option under resources called Prep Me. For the students that are taking uh, the November or the December SAT, I think it's really important that you access the Prep Me resource on your family connection. The Prep Me resource is an opportunity for you to take a diagnostic exam that uh, is matched up with the SAT and um, and after you take the diagnostic exam it basically builds a program for you based upon when you're taking the exam and it's going to give you practice questions it's going to give you hints it's basically like taking a free SAT prep course um, yesterday I already went through and took the diagnostics from for this particular student Larry Lancer and so uh, he already has a course built for him and so if I wanted to follow this course, I would go ahead and watch the introductory videos that introduce me to particular sections, like this one. So it's going to give me different goals for my lesson. Once you um, get through that, then you have a series of practice tests. And so I'm going to take a practice test on math right now. Question 1 of 20. So this is a 20-point section, and I'm given 25 minutes to complete it. So these are timed, just like the SAT is, and they're matched up with exactly the way that the SAT is set up. Car sales by color. So we've got silver, blue, red, maroon, black. According to the circle graph, how many car colors individually represent at least 25% of total car sales? So you basically have to eyeball this and see whether or not you can identify what 25% is. I'm going to go ahead and guess that silver and maroon both um, represent more than 25% and say 2. I'm going to go on to the next question. Now we have a line X. And the x is between negative 1, 0, and 1. It's going to ask me a series of questions. Okay? So this is a powerful tool because it allows you to prepare for the SAT at your own pace, and it basically gives you unlimited opportunities to, um, to prepare. Highly, highly recommend that students begin to use this resource for their November and December test. Unfortunately, uh, this will only be available through December 31st, 2015. The reason that this program is only available until then is because the SAT is changing. And these types of questions and these types of problems, they will no longer be applicable. They're only designed for the current SAT. Once the SAT redesign happens, there's going to be a new test prep program uh, called Naviance Test Prep and that's going to be able to, uh, you're going to be able to access that as well. And that will be preparing you for the new redesigned SAT. Going back to Family Connection, uh, I suppose that there's one more thing that I would like to look at today, and that's just the messages um, area. Right here it says that you have no new messages, but 
there was a message earlier, which I already clicked on and read, and so it doesn't show up as a new message. But under Viewed Messages, it says that Larry Lancer received a message from Gabriel Escobar, uh, and it's about CSU Mentor. Message. Hi, Larry Lancer. Just a reminder that the CSU Mentor application website opens on October 1st. Please see me if you or your <laughs> run if you run into trouble. Okay, so that's a message from Larry Lancer's counselor uh, to remind him that the Cal State application is available and up and running and that he should get started on it. Okay, so this hopefully provides you with an opportunity to uh, make some real strides forward in terms of exploring careers, looking for colleges that fit your particular needs, and also allowing you to get to know yourself better. As time goes on, we're gonna, the counseling department is going to be providing you with uh, more specific directions and tasks to do, and these tasks will, will also pop up on your homepage and alert you that a particular task needs to be done. But feel free for now just to explore this as much as you would like and use it to your benefit. Thank you very much.